Well, as the city of Jacksonville tries to get more vaccine shots into residents, others were out tonight enjoying a popular event that has slight changes because of the pandemic. News for Jax has a team of reporters monitoring how the city is working to protect people against the virus while still allowing them to attend events that they enjoy. We're going to begin with News for Jax reporter Marilyn Parker. Marilyn, you've been at the federal vaccination site at the Gateway Mall. How were the lines today? Well, there were actually no lines today, and we just got the numbers in from FEMA in the last hour. They say approximately 790 people got their shots at this site today. That's just over a third of the 2,000 shots that this site can administer per day. Slow yet steady. And there wasn't much of a turnout today as far as as many people coming out. Why do you think that is? With a rainy end to COVID-19 vaccinations for the first Saturday at the Gateway Town Center. I expected there to be a longer line. But between the text messages and public safety alerts. I don't think it's being advertised enough. And a lot of people really don't know uh, that this is going on. The site offers both Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. Those eligible for the shot here at Gateway include all school staff and child care workers, the extremely medically vulnerable, regardless of the age, with a signed waiver from your doctor, firefighters and law enforcement 50 and older, those who are 65 and older, and health care workers. There were lots of changes in who can and can't get the shot at this site. Some people say that could be part of why there weren't long lines in a parking lot full of people Saturday. I think a lot of people just uh, skeptical skeptical about it. They kind of afraid of it. The Department of Health says 137,499 people have completed their series of vaccines in Duval County. The series includes both doses of Pfizer and Moderna and the single shot of Johnson and Johnson. The site at Gateway Mall is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And coming up tonight on News for Jax at 11, we're going to give you the rest of the numbers for the other satellite sites in Duval County, as well as what Governor DeSantis has to say about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and plans to change the age requirements for eligibility at this site. We're live at Gateway tonight, Maryland Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.